This is the Seasonal Stock and ETF Report for today, November 30, 2022. We are still in the bullish territories on the indices. Let's just go take a look. Indices common. I'm just clicking on SPX, but there's a 190 day opportunity listed here. Let's just take a look at that right now. So for last 10 days, 10 years. If you bought S&P 500 today and waited till June 7th, made an average of 7.45%. It lost in 2021. It lost almost 9%. But it was profitable the other years. How about last 20 years? So in the last 20 years, I see three years that this date range up here did not make money. The average profit was 6.85%, 85% of the years. Three years, it didn't work. How about 90 years? In the last 90 years, it made an average of 11.64%, 70% of the years. And if you've watched any of these before, we can f do advanced filtering. This is the midterm election years, which means it's going to throw out the other three years. And it is going to come up with midterm election years only and get rid of the rest. Now we suddenly see that this date range has been profitable flat on 1946, but last time this date range lost on the midterm election years was 1938. Whew. This sounds very bullish to me. If by any chance the S&P 500 starts going down sharply and doesn't come back up, there's a major change in seasonality and we know that something is happening with the market. But right now, I'm very bullish. Although it's hard to believe it's time to be bullish, but I am bullish. The state range made an average of 13.23% in the last 94 years. On the midterm election years. So... Given that we are in bullish territory, let's go take a look at our opportunities. 10 out of 10 years, we only have a single one on Dow. So we're just looking for the last 10 years opportunities, and that would be Visa. It is from today until June 5th has made an average of 12.35%. It's a bullish time for Visa. To see more on Dow 30, we have to drop our minimum profitable years to 9 of 10 years. Now we see a lot more possibilities. Let's look at the short term ones. JNJ &J made an average of 2.11% in the next 10 days. Look at that rise up right there. J and J is bullish. It made 6.39%, 5.82%, 2 2.29%. In the last three years alone, didn't work in 2018, but it's also very good flat on the years that it didn't work except 2018. Now, did it go up any higher than this before it came down? This is the closing price. We can add the favorable excursion. And even on the year that it lost, it went up 1.42%. Not 2021. It literally closed at the high. There's a 0.28% for 2020 and so on. How much did it go against us? 
wasn't huge, but in 2018 it dropped an extra 2% and came back up. So J&J, &J, good opportunity, very short term. Salesforce.com Bearish for Salesforce.com for the next 13 days. Look at that down spiral. Has Salesforce been going down? Oh, I am on a... I'm not even logged in. Well, we'll check that in other days. By the way, I'm going to go change the format of this morning um, morning recordings to I'm just going to work and release recordings about specific opportunities but I'm going to also add a live portion so we're going to start going live probably by next week uh, at least once a day um, so people can come in listen to this and ask any questions Okay, let's go to NASDAQ. Electronic Arts has been very bullish for a 59 day. Today until January 27th, it has made an average of 8.16%. T-Mobile is there. Bookings, holdings, 7.97% average. By the way, on any of these, you can also take a look at the cumulative return here. Sometime first quarter of next year, we're going to add cumulative return on this list. So you can also sort on cumulative return. But that's unavailable at this point. But we'll have that. S&P 500, top of the list is Striker. That reminds me of the movie Airplane, if anybody's seen it. Northrop. All of these are great longer term opportunities. Just on these long term ones, take a look. This is like the first week of June for so many of them. June is a bearish month. So. Uh, it wants us to get out of it in the beginning of June. July is usually bullish, but June is bearish. Nextra Energy, that is a great opportunity. I like that one. Last 40 years, what has it done? Last 40 years, it has made an average of 9.5%, 70% of the times. Does it make a difference if we click on midterm election years? Yes, percentage profitable jumps to 83%. 1998 was the last time it actually lost... Um, fairly substantially but it is very bullish for next draw energy anything on Wilshire Hudson technology great sharp ratio average profit 15.58 percent and it looks pretty bullish but kind of choppy as you can see there let's go look at ETFs mid cap spider by the way etfs defaults to 20 years and 18 of 20 years we can even have 19 of 20 years consumer staple oh, this looks like 20 of 20 years to me this was profitable every year huh amazing so, for the next 261 days until August 17, consumer staples has gone up every single year 
in the last 20 years. Do we have more data? 23 years. But the other three years it lost. Look at this. Right there. But this date range is very bullish if you look at 20 years only. That's it for today.